The series of images were produced in two different locations. Yakushima, uh, who is uh, an island in Japan, in the southern tip of Japan. And then uh, the whole rainforest, who is a, a similar ecologically to Yakushima. Whole rainforest is placed in uh, the Olympic National Park uh, in Washington State. In this forest, uh, Gordon Hampton, who was an ecologist and uh, sound recorder, uh, recordist as well, um, he actually des designated this area called the one inch of silence. And when I saw that, so actually it could be quite interesting to go and visit this place and really search what it means to be in this kind of silent landscape. We found the location. Um, we heard planes, and that is the problematic in these uh, places. There is always, always human activities around. I quite like to work in this um, low light uh, situation to kind of bring out the, the subtleness of the colors as well. When I'm photographing in this situation, I have to expose the film for a long period of time, which means that the film uh, surfaces, so the analog film surfaces, is kind of subjected to extended exposure, which kind of push the colors into their limits. So it's not like a digital um, image manipulation. And then uh, once I've reached a small print size, which I can develop myself, then I go and work with a printer on the large scale printing, and that's another discussion and communication. And so th these images are monumental because I want people to be, you know, going, traveling with me in these uh, large scale images and looking at detail, looking at layers. There's lots and lots of layers. You could stare at an image for hours and still discover things. I'd like people to immerse themselves and to kind of slow down and the ways that slowed down when I took the photographs and to really kind of forget uh, the outside world. These are protected landscape now, but nothing is ever, you know, kind of uh, as simple. I would like people to reflect on that, to reflect on the you know, urgency of these places. There is uh, this element of contemplation, this element of um, dream when you are in these landscapes. That's also fueled by what we've learned when we were a child in terms of the Green Brothers, you know, the stories going in the woods and getting lost and coming out of it uh, as a different person. For this installation, I realized that sound and scent are extremely important when you're walking in the forest. The scent of the forest floor after it rains, um, and usually it's dry forest floor, so it's actually very warm. It's a kind of warmy, uh, mossy sand, uh, scent um, that's supposed to make you feel good as well. What you would hear when you come into the space is uh, sound I recorded um, in both forests. So you will hear the sound of the rain, the sound of water, uh, streams, and of course the sound of animals like monkeys uh, recorded in Yakushima, which were fighting at the times I was recording them. Usually what makes me happy would be to really kind of uh, immerse myself in nature and walk. And of course, recently during lockdown, it was an impossibility. So we walked in small parks, of course, in London. I discovered lots of places, interesting places. But what I had in my studio was uh, these images, and in particular, one image in three meter size um, image in my studio and looking at it and observing it all these 
um, all this time uh, made me feel good actually. Um, looking at the intricacy of the, the, the landscape, the layers, discovering uh, little details each time I would come in the studio um, and leaving the world outside, uh, that made me happy.